Okay, in this video I just want to share some of my thoughts on the Tynan Weir Metro. If you live in Sunderland, Newcastle, South Shields, basically the northeast of England, you'll be familiar with this system. Now I think it's fair to say that in recent years um, there's been widespread discontent at the service the Metro provides. And now I want to emphasise, most of the time I personally haven't had major problems with the service. Although there has been times when um, ticket machines have been broken and there hasn't been staff available, for example at Sunderland when you need them. Um, and I just want to express some of my thoughts on their service and how I think they could be better. I I, I will be try and be fair in this uh, video, um, so it's not going to be just a mindless rant. Um, first of all, this is quite a busy system. I believe it's 60 stations. It deals with 50 million passengers a year. It's the second busiest transit system in the UK, I think, after the London Underground. So it's quite a busy system. And in a busy system, you always have to expect some glitches. You can't expect it to run absolutely like clockwork all the time. So I would expect that. Um, and I would understand that. But with the Tyne and Weir Metro, it seems every day, literally, literally, there's a train taken out of service, a failed train, a delay. And frankly, it's not just not good enough given the price of the tickets, which at the moment stands at £4.40 for a return from Sunderland to Newcastle. For those of you who aren't familiar with this region, that's a journey of about 24 kilometres. So it's not a huge journey. It does add up, especially in this economic climate. Um, I do go to Newcastle occasionally, I, a large part of my social life is there, so I'm not one of these people who rely on the metro for work, but I do spend quite a lot of time in Newcastle, and I, I do feel it adds up. Now I should say, generally speaking, trains from Sunderland and Newcastle are reliable, to be fair. Um, but... I do empathise with a lot of the concerns and frustrations other customers have, especially people who rely on the metro for jobs, for for getting to the work. Now, at the moment, they have a policy in place that if trains are delayed by 15 minutes, you can get some sort of compensation. Given the poor quality of the service at the moment, um, I don't see why they have this 15-minute thing. I think it should be 10 minutes at least. You know, if you inconvenience someone, even if it's by 10 minutes that could be the difference between a person getting a job or not and I know in my case sometimes I have to go into Newcastle for job interviews I'm essentially unemployed so people do rely on the metro so this 15 minute thing it's not good enough it should be at least 10 minutes because 10 minutes can make all the difference now there's some circumstances that I don't blame the metro for for example if someone's vandalised a line that's the responsibility of the jobs that have done it if someone's doing something stupid like holding doors open again that's responsibility of stupid customers um, so it's not always the metro's fault I acknowledge that but in many other circumstances it is you know the metro has invested millions on so-called modernization but from a customer's perspective it's just one excuse after another about the sheer number of delays now I looked at the London Underground I think it was a few days ago not a single line had a problem not one line and that's a much busier system so, I think people are getting a bit tired of these excuses. Um, and like I say, I don't expect it to run perfectly. I don't expect there to never be problems. But at the moment, the, the rate of problems um, do basically indicate this is not a very good service at all. Um, and one thing that really irks me off about the Metro is they have a huge priority on people dodging their tickets, i.e. not paying for the ticket. Now let me make this clear, I don't condone that, I think it's selfish behaviour, I think it's stupid because you're going to get caught anyway, um, I don't condone it, you should pay for your ticket, it's not It's not fair, it's just something you shouldn't do, but it irks me off that the Metro invests so much resources into dealing with that, and as an example, at Newcastle Central Station they have, in some some occasions I can see up to it looks like about 10 members of staff checking for tickets. Whereas some of those members of staff could be in other stations providing assistance. In Sunderland, one of the machines hasn't been working for some time. 
and there's not staff around when you need them. So that's not good enough. They need to get their priorities right. So long as this public service remains poor, then the priority should not be on ticket dodging, which I don't condone, but on improving public service. Now, I appreciate that they hold these seminars, these sort of, if that's the right word, these meet the manager sessions, and I, I give them credit for that. But clearly, little is changing. They've held these sessions several times now, and every day it's the same problems. So basically, the time and where metro needs to improve, because the money that people are paying um, at the moment doesn't reflect the quality of service. It really doesn't. So, um, yeah, I don't want to call this video a run. Um, like I say, you know, I wouldn't expect the system to run perfectly, but I really do think they can improve, given the price of tickets. And also, I acknowledge in other parts of the world it could be a lot worse, but, you know, often there's excuses that, oh, we need modernization to improve the service, therefore tickets need to be this price and so on. But in other transit systems around the world, they they have the same issues. So I see it as a bit of an excuse, really, that um, it's all down to modernization. Because this modernization has been going on for a long time. I saw one petition online, which was a vote of no confidence in Nexus, which is the company that operates Metro. And that's understandable. I could, Like I said, I could understand one today here and there, but it's every single day there's a field train. Every day. Now, I'm quite lucky, because I'm not in the part of the Metro, I live in Sunderland, that's affected the worst. I feel sorry for people that live in South Shields and North Tyneside, because they seem to constantly be impacted by delays. But basically, what I'm saying is, I don't think it's fair for them to put so much priority on... Um, fair dodging instead of that seems to be their number one priority instead of actually uh, dealing with the problems that are constantly arising it, all we ever hear is excuses they have a sort of real time update uh, on Facebook that's a good service I give them credit for that it's good that that's in place but I, I really don't think the service at the moment reflects the prices um, and the I, I sincerely hope they're not thinking about any more price increases so long as this continues to be a poor quality service. And they used to have a situation where they would name and shame people who hadn't... I don't know if that's still in place. I, I have um, I have issues about that. I think it's an invasion of personal privacy to publish people's addresses. This is what they do. They'll publish the name and address of people who don't pay for the fare. Now, I, I don't mind them uh, finding the person. I can understand that. Um, and I understand the purpose of naming and shaming is to stop them doing it again. But I still think it's a, an invasion of personal space. And whilst I think some people are selfish and just don't pay because they've got an arrogant attitude, I think there's others. I heard of one guy, he couldn't pay because the machine was broken. No fault of his own. He had to get to work, the machine was broken. So what's he supposed to do? That, uh, Metro's attitude always, we will find you anyway, even though he explained on Facebook what the issue was. So it's really not good enough. Um, having said that, I do sympathise with Metro inspectors who have to put up with abuse from uh, Yobs who, who just don't care. And uh, that's selfish. It's not fair on other customers. It's not fair on Metro staff. And by the way, this is not a video against Metro staff. I, I know sometimes they have to put up with drunks and so on. This is not against them. But I do think the quality of the service can significantly improve. So if you live in Sunderland or Newcastle, let me know your thoughts. Um, and by the way, I've seen some people saying, oh, stop whinging. Um, I disagree. I think if you're paying for a public service, you have a right to raise issues. Um, of course, you should be open-minded and acknowledge the wider issues. But, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. If you live in Newcastle, Sunderland, let me know what you think of this.